Okay, this will hopefully answer your question on uh, your question number four. Uh, what I have here is a project from uh, VX that has a assumed coordinate. It's a, scan, it's a scale factor only. So you can see here from the imported files uh, the coordinate for point GR, which was the occupation point, is just an assumed coordinate. Uh, and then we used a, uh, an assumed azimuth mark. Now you mentioned in your email that uh, the GPS crew went out uh, after the conventional crew and established coordinate on point possibly GR and and maybe the azimuth mark. We can do this for the azimuth or with two points and it'll work the same way. But we need to uh, be able to modify these coordinates from the imported file record. So make sure we do that. So uh, I'll open the job up, select the point, and get the, the coordinate record from the job file. This is the one I can edit. Uh, now this coordinate is 36760.5.8 and hopefully this is meters, yes. And you can see the effects uh, immediately of what's happening to the coordinate. Uh, this is 9, 4, 3, 3, 3. Elevation is, uh, we'll just change it, uh, 1650. Okay, so once we get all that in, and once we hit compute, recompute, the coordinate for this point are done up in their appropriate location now. Elevation has been changed, but now we need to change our azimuth. So if we just change this to uh, something that it should be, uh, we'll just say uh, 150, and you'll see it rotate just a second once I hit recompute. So now, uh, once that's done, we can go up to our coordinate system and change it to the appropriate system and zone. Okay, this is back to our original location. <laughs> I wanted to show you the Koga commands that you had a question about. Anytime we ask for a uh, coordinate in TBC, you can access the command. Uh, so what we'll do is go up to point, create point, click in either the northern or eastern field and right click on the screen to show all the commands. We have uh, just quite a few commands uh, that are pretty powerful. Uh, you mentioned bearing and distance, so we'll do one of those. Our, our, we can select our reference point. Uh, if we pick the wrong point, we can go back and pick another point. Uh, the bearing, now once we're in each of these commands, they have additional Kogo commands that can be accessed. So we can right click here and say bearing plus an angle or bearing to a point. So we'll say bearing to an angle. Now we're in here, we have another one we can do it uh, point to point bearing, say from uh, this point to here, plus an angle. And now there's more commands in there. We can say three point deflection angle or we can just type in a coordinate uh, an angle. So we'll go minus 10 degrees here and it will calculate this angle and enter it in this field. Our distance is the same way uh, so we can right click here and we can ask uh, any, any, any choices here we want. We can just also just pick it from the screen and it's going to calculate the coordinate. Once we get an elevation we can do other things. We can uh, we can select an elevation from the surface uh, along a line, uh, leave it undefined or at a point snap, uh, which just means it's going to get the ele elevation of another point and enter in the field. So when we hit add, it will have that coordinate that we calculated. So pretty powerful commands. They are hidden. I would like to get them exposed a little bit more so users will know they're there. Uh, if, if they don't go through the tutorials or read the help, then they just have to stumble onto it. So I'd like to get that corrected. Anyway, that's, that's it. Hope this helps.